Here's our Hartzell 5-bladed composite propeller that was made unusable when someone tried drilling out the hub by hand without a drill guide. So I will be repairing this propeller by filling in the holes with some West Systems 410 fairing filler mixed with WB400 resin. So this fairing filler is a, a super lightweight powder you mix in with the resin. Um, it smells like peanut butter and uh, looks kind of like peanut butter powder but you wouldn't want to eat it. Uh, so here I've mixed up some of the resin um, with the fairing filler and I'm filling it into a syringe um, to then inject the uh, resin directly into the holes and I'm making sure to start at the very bottom of the hole so that there's not any air bubbles trapped within the uh, propeller there since I wanted to make sure that the hole was filled in as well as possible. So I just repeated this um, for all four holes there to make sure it's all filled and I have a piece of tape on the bottom to seal off the uh, lower end of the hole. Alright, this is about 24 hours later, the epoxy is all cured, so you can go ahead and remove this backing tape. Now on this top side, I'm going to trim off the excess epoxy and then sand this down flush again so that the prop spinner can bolt on properly. Alright, so now that it's scraped flat, I'm installing the proper uh, propeller drill guide onto the hub here. And I'm going to line it up so that the holes align up with where that fairing filler is. That way I'm not drilling out any more of the propeller's actual structure. And uh, the fairing filler will just act to, to fill in the areas that were um, drilled off center before. So I'll flip the propeller over and the drill guide is attached securely in place um, using a little bolt and washer on the back side. Um, that'll hopefully prevent it from uh, scooting around and whatnot while it's in the drill press to drill those holes. So now we'll go over to the drill press and um, get these holes drilled out. So now that we've finished drilling out the holes, you can already kind of see uh, where the, the holes are, are slightly misaligned now from where the fairing filler is. Uh, we'll take a closer look at it now um, once we get this screw out. So yeah, taking a closer look here, we can really see how uh, some of those uh, holes were off center. And previously when this was run on the aircraft, um, it vibrated really, uh, really badly um, since it was forced off. Here you can really see um, that one of the holes is actually almost perfectly aligned up and uh, one of them is pretty far off there. So um, after uh, doing this, this was filmed uh, probably a year ago and uh, we've done uh, quite a few flights with this propeller and uh, it performs very well. It's totally in balance now. So uh, the repair was quite successful. And uh, here we're just gonna go ahead and install it onto the electric propulsor on this Megan UAV for um, an upcoming flight test. We can see here that the propeller is going on effortlessly. All these screws uh, line up perfectly with the holes. There's no forcing it. Um, before doing this repair, it, um, really none of these uh, bolts wanted to line up with the holes there. And if you forced it into place, um, it ended up uh, making the propeller canted over a little bit and it caused a lot of vibration during flights. So um, it's quite a successful repair.